morning all you pretty people it's Saturday day six I'm feeling great so let's just get into it So the plan for today is we're starting from Train Mountain Shelter at mile 58, where we ended after that a big climb or a series of climbs yesterday. We start with a nice easy downhill by the looks of things, um, quite, quite a bit of a downhill. And we progress through the morning. We should be able to hit uh, the iconic swag of the Blue Ridge sign, which I'll be sure to try and get a picture taken with, uh, then at its gap. Um, the following Addis Gap, we start a bit of a climb up to the top of Kelly Knob, which should be pretty steep. Um, go through Deep Gap Shelter and then finally hit Powell Mountain, where I do hear there's some pretty good views. Coming down Powell Mountain, my goal is for Dix Creek Gap, ideally mid-afternoon to be able to get a shuttle and then into Hiawassee and take care of some things today, followed by a zero tomorrow. As you can see, the weather's changed a little bit. Rain came in around two o'clock last night. A little bit of thunder, which when you're camping on the top of a mountain causes a little bit of trepidation, but it was pretty well protected. Rain this morning had the privilege of Breaking down camp in the rain, which all told, I think I didn't do half bad. Most of the stuff stayed dry under the tarp as I got it packed up and then the tarp just goes in last. So I feel pretty good about that. Maybe I am gaining a few skills. It's around 8.30, we're about an hour into it so another benefit i'm actually either a waking up earlier yes and b getting a little bit quicker at breaking down camp so it's not taking me a hour and a half to get on the trail i slept really well after the long day today and surprisingly the body doesn't feel like it took too much of a toll today now, luckily I'm heading into Hiawassee tonight and plan on taking a, a zero day tomorrow just to kind of get a few things organized and maybe actually finally upload a video. <laughs> I've got literally six in the hopper. As you can see, not many views today. I know every YouTuber that has shown the trail when we've been socked in has commented on how eerie yet beautiful it feels almost like you're in an, going down a journey in the Lord of the Rings cliche though that may be but it is pretty true I feel lucky to have been lucky to have been fortunate to see the views over the last few days and avoid it getting too wet, but throw me a little fog in the mix. I'm okay with it. In fact, it is starting to clear about an hour ago. Could have maybe only see five feet in front of you. Didn't have much cell service last night, so family, I'm still alive. And I still have to get uh, some sort of shuttle from Dix Creek Gap to Hiawassee. So as we get down here a little bit and I get a little bit of service, I'll have to phone and try and coordinate that. Otherwise we may see my very first foray into hitchhiking, which I'm prone to avoid as long as I can. <laughs> Although I'm sure it's not that bad or cumbersome. 
It actually looks like it's clearing up a little bit compared to what it was an hour ago. So that's good. We'll, uh, we'll catch you a little bit further down the trail. One thing you notice in Georgia, there's, there's a lot of dead trees that have come down over the years. The trail maintainers have done a fantastic job though of keeping the uh, trail clear, but it does put it into perspective to always look up, especially when you're setting up camp at night, just to make sure there's no widow makers over top of you, which is essentially a dead tree and dead limbs that have the chance to, to fall in a strong wind and well you can do the math from there as you can see we're still pretty much socked in we're about oh, i'd say two and a half hours in it's a very calm tranquil morning this is one of those days where your mind gets to wander very zen. Although, that's probably the last thing I've ever been called, but this particular moment, I think it applies. So, I don't know if what I have on classifies as a true hiker couture, but I definitely think I fit the swag of the Blue Ridge Bill. What do you think? Just coming out of the Trey Mountain Wilderness. Oh. It was an interesting day or two. I guess it's a day. Here's our Goal for the day at Dix Creek Gap. About 5.3 miles left. Still haven't figured out a shovel, but uh, we've got a couple hours. Here at, at this gap. So here's the view from the top of Kelly Knob. The clouds are parting just in time. That was a hike all the way up. It felt like no reprieve, but the views are worth it. Just rows upon rows of mountains, counting what, at least eight, all the way back to there. Beautiful. So, this is my lunch spot for the day. It's about 12 o'clock, I'm a good nine miles in, and this is what I get to take a break at. Yeah, that doesn't suck. For those wondering what one eats for lunch when you're out on the trail, well, it starts with the tortilla. Then you add in Spam in the individual classic container, single. Cut that in half. You add in cheese because in this, uh, Temperature, cheese will keep. You roll it up, and there you go. The Spam Tortilla. And for dessert, 
Snickers. You made it. That was a that was a good climb. Now we're going to uh, Dix Creek Gap parking lot where I should be making my shuttle shortly. Evening here in the Holiday Inn Express in Hiawassee. And this is what a uh, panning through hiker does when they get into town on St. Patrick's Day. They edit videos, they elevate their leg after having had a nice bath, and they drink a beer while watching the NCAA tournament. Cheers. say a lucky day to choose to stay in a hotel. Okay, so to recap today, started fairly early at around eight o'clock at Trey Mountain Shelter. It was raining, and I think as I mentioned, it was the first time breaking camp in the rain. Uh, by and large, I think that went pretty well. Uh, rain stopped pretty early on in, in the hike, which was good. Stayed pretty overcast, but uh, I didn't get too wet. At least not too wet from the, the rain. The, the sweat was a, another story. So got on the trail by a little after eight. Had a really good sleep last night, by and large, although there was a little bit of really loud thunder that woke everyone up at about 2.30. I think I mentioned that as well. So that does cause you to maybe sleep not quite so soundly. Progressed uh, down off a of train mountain, a nice walk. Uh, my knee was feeling a little bit on the downhills today. Then got in about uh, four and a half miles to Addis Gap. And then we started the climb up Kelly Knob. That was a, that was a bit of a, uh, let's call it a good climb. It wasn't as steep as the tray the previous day or definitely rocky um, but it seemed to be never ending it just went up and up and up and when you got to the top it went down and down and down uh, a little bit of a view at the at the top and the sky kind of opened up right at the right time for me which was great i did want to get a relatively early day though as i finally did get in touch with a shuttle i think it was a uh, affordable shuttles um, to pick me up at Dix Creek Gap at two o'clock. So I wouldn't say I was casually strolling. I was doing a good pace, but I was still able to take a nice break for lunch. And I took about 45 minutes at the top of Powell Mountain. It was just me at the Vista. The sun had come out. Uh, it was a really nice just break. And then from there, there were a few minor ups before that and Dix Creek Gap, but by and large, it was just a slow and steady gradual downhill. Uh, sun came out, the, it was hot, got a little bit of sunburn actually on my hands, something I'm gonna have to attend to later in the future hikes, make sure I put some sunblock on there. Got to Dix Creek Gap right at about quarter to two. The shuttle got me into Hiawassee, I would say about 2.30. Checked in here at the Holiday Inn Express, did a load of laundry, went out and got a hamburger, a couple of beer for St. Patty's Day, and, uh, and just relaxing, finally having a chance to catch up on both editing and uploading videos. So from here on out, although you're gonna have seen them already, hopefully I'll be able to get a video posted every day, or at least that's uh, the goal. Taking a, a zero tomorrow, which again, for those non-through hikers, that is a day where you don't hike any miles. Basically, I wanna do that just to finish up the videos I want to do a little bit of a short resupply, but by and large, I've had a couple, couple I won't say shoes days, but big days. And my body is holding up well, but I also don't want to push it. So I'm feeling more so a little bit of a twinge in my knee and a little bit of a twinge in my elbow still from those downward motions on the hiking poles. So rather than kind of push it any further, I figured to now would be a really good time to take a zero day and just give it that little extra day of healing time now that we're a week in. I'm also a couple days ahead of my very tentative schedule, so I'm, I'm feeling good about the time and where I am in the hike. 
we'll get back on the trail Monday morning and maybe tomorrow share a little bit about the town of Hiawassee. <laughs> Till next time, I gone.